Hi, this is Anita with Homestead Evolution, and today we're going to be feeding the bees. What we're going to do is we're going to make a two to one sugar water ratio. We're going to start with 10 pounds of sugar, and then we're going to do five pounds of water. It is a one to one by weight, not volume. Okay, let's get started. What I'm doing is I'm weighing out five pounds of water. That was three pounds. We're going to make a two to one sugar water ratio because it's, we're going into the winter. Doesn't have to be exact, somewhere around five pounds. This is 2.1. So. Here's our five pounds of water. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my scale off. I'm gonna start getting this water hot. Shouldn't take long on this burner. And if I turn the right burner on, it'd be better, wouldn't it? Then we're gonna use 10 pounds of sugar. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go by weight on this. This is a 10 pound bag. Um, I do have bulk sugar that I use sometimes, we just have to weigh that out. It's not a big deal. So, I'm just gonna wait for this water to boil and then we'll turn it down and add the sugar water. We'll be right back. As you can see, this water's boiling. I've turned it off. I don't wanna put the sugar in it when it's boiling. I don't wanna scorch the sugar. So let's cool down for a little bit. Stir it a little bit, it'll stop the boiling process faster. Okay, so we got boiling. Put this in here. And I'm gonna put this in a little at a time and stir until it's dissolved. Seems like a lot of sugar. However, it's completely worth it when your bees haven't stored enough to get them through winter. We're also going to be doing a sugar board coming up. So when it starts to get too cold to get into the bees, it happens to be, what, November 13th. It's Friday the 13th. And um, we're still able to get into our bees. It's over 60 degrees. We try not to open the hives if it's under 60 degrees. So we're still putting sugar water on them. When it gets to the point where we can't get into the hives anymore, open those hives, we'll put a candy board, a sugar board on top. And hopefully that'll get them through the winter. Try not to get sugar everywhere. The reason for the two to one mixture in the winter is it doesn't take them as long to convert this into honey. In the spring, we'll do a one to one mixture instead of a two to one. And what that will do, it mimics a nectar flow. So the queen will be stimulated to lay and it'll bring your brood back up. But like I said, going into winter, you want that thicker mix, that two to one by weight. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to turn the heat back on for a minute. All that sugar pulled it down to the point where it's not quite dissolving. Still getting a little granulation in here, which you do not want. You want it all complete liquid. So I'll turn the heat on just a little while. We will not boil this. Once it's cool, we'll put it in the jars and then take it to the bees. Do not want to put hot sugar on the bees ever. 
that'll kill your bees. And you don't want to put it in the refrigerator and get it cold. That will also shock their system and kill bees. You just want it room temperature. Okay, that looks good. It's nice and clear. Turn this off. Sit this over here in the sink. Try not to drip sugar water on your counters because that's, that's hard, sticky stuff. I'm going to leave the lid off. Set it off the burner. Let it cool down. Now, my jars. These jars, when I get them capped, you know, these are the second run. This amount of sugar will fill six jars. I'll just put a regular cap on these. Now these, these jars, it's just a canning jar lid. I poked some holes in it. Same with all of them. This jar, you can see they started to make propolis across around the edge. They were trying to glue this jar in. But we can't let them do that. So what we'll do is we'll fill these jars. Put these lids on it. And when we turn it over like this, it'll make an airlock. So they will not drip until bees come up here and they take the nectar out. They will not drip. It's, they might drip when you first turn them over and we'll show you that. But after that, they're good to go. Okay, the sugar is cool. And very, very sweet. So what we have to do here, I'll do it over the stove top because it's glass and can be cleaned easier. I'm gonna fill these bottles. I usually use a canning funnel, but I left it downstairs, so I'll use what I have right now. here we'll just stay up here in the house for when this these are empty and it won't take long all right I've got a warm rag I'll wipe down the outsides They're all jarred. We're gonna take these three and go down to the bees and put them back in. Yes, are you, are you ready to go? I am. As soon as I draw this last one, I'll be ready to go. All right. Okay, we're gonna go down here to the bees. There goes Chuck. He's over there crowing again. Huh? Oh, I know. Beehive over there. Hoping that in spring we'll be able to split this. Not much activity because it's cold. But they're in there. Okay. Let me. Okay, show them how to turn it over and not drip. It'll, it'll drip, but it'll quit. It'll quit right there. Okay. So that one didn't drip. 
We've got this made to just fit these jars. Put the lid on them, strap them back up. We'll just head back up here to the house. I think we're done for the day. We might actually go get a pizza. We don't do that very often, but I think we're going to go. Tito! Tito. This is Tito. This is Tito right here. Tito's a little sad. Why is Tito sad? Abby's in training. Yep, Abby's in training. She'll be back. She's got another week in training. Come on. Come on. Let's go to the house. Go get him. Go get it. Come on. Come on. Get him. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Come on. Go get him. Come in the house.